Now, continuing to make headlines this morning, it's the new bombshell biography about Harry and Meghan, which started to be serialised at the weekend. Royal editor Russell Myers joins us now. I mean, so many revelations in this book, incredibly intimate details as well. The access, if it is all to be believed, is something else. Absolutely. Well, where's the start? Absolutely explosive detail after explosive detail. And like you said, the access. Um, it's claimed by Harry and Meghan's team that they didn't uh, have anything to do with the book, that they hadn't seen it before. But the uh, the authors of the book, uh, Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand, who've been on the fringes of royal reporting, previous sort of showbiz uh, journalists, have said that everything that they've done had at least two sources. Now, one may wonder who those two sources are, because there is absolutely explosive detail. And you, they talk about not only the relationship, but the breakdown of the relationship with the entire family, not only the Queen, Charles, William, it's, uh, it's all there for, to see. It's mm. uh, absolutely extraordinary. And, like, we do know that the Sussexes defend themselves legally against publications if they feel something that has been printed is unjust and unfair and untrue. Um, so it will be interesting and quite telling to see if anything happens off the back of this. Well, they've, I mean, they're firing off lawsuits every couple of days, it would seem. They've, we've spoken about uh, Meghan's case against the Mail on Sunday, which is ongoing, where she spoke about how she was unprotected by the institution of the royal family. Now, this, uh, this book is actually just case after case of, of how um, unhappy they were and how unprotected, uh, unsupported they felt by the institution. And I think that um, they, they certainly won't be suing because I think if you're reading between the lines, they certainly had, uh, had more than a hand in this book to get their side out of the, of the story out there. Very interesting. They go into very detailed accounts um, leading up to when they both wanted to step away from the royal family. Yeah. I mean, it starts. I mean, it starts <clears throat> from the relationship from their sort of first date, and it gives you a sort of indication about uh, how quickly they both got into the relationship. And it was actually uh, Megan who rang one of her friends to say, you know, am I crazy? But has this got legs? And then very, very soon after, within three months, Harry was telling her he loved her. And then um, he told her friends, he did indeed. Yeah. Book, yes. But what, what, one of the uh, biggest surprises of this is that they actually got engaged two months before they told the world. And I think if we hark back to that day and then lead up to the wedding, it, they had so much support in this country. The wedding was an incredible extravaganza. They had everybody on their side and it quickly soured very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And now you've got to the situation where they left the, they'd left the institution, they blindsided the Queen, they'd tried to tell uh, Charles and the Queen how unhappy they were, um, and they were just told to, you know, take their foot off the gas and, and we will support you, but that wasn't good enough for them. They decided to release that bombshell statement on Instagram and, uh, and look where we are now. Because they had requested a meeting with the Queen, hadn't they? Which was then put forward or put off until the end of January. Yes. And of course the announcement came before that. Yeah, well, I imagine that they, the, the Queen and Charles certainly wanted them to take their time. That Harry and Meghan had said that they were unhappy with their roles within the institution. And what this comes across, I think, to the, the layperson reading this book, is quite petulant, quite spoilt. They, where did they want to fit in within the family? Charles Charles had always said he wanted them to be part, front and centre, of a slimmed down monarchy, but they weren't happy with that role. I think they thought that they were going to change the world. Well, they could have changed the world, but they went completely the wrong way about it. Well, they, they I mean, their take on it is that she was unfairly treated. Well, there's a few things here about Meghan say, saying that she was unfairly treated and that, that she didn't feel that she was having the respect from the people uh, working within the palace. Now, uh, Meghan was a successful actress in her own right. She'd made her own way in the world. And, uh, and I imagine some of the courtiers found her sort of can-do attitude maybe a little bit challenging. But if you're coming to an institution that hasn't changed for, you know, decades, hundreds of years, and there are certain ways of doing things, I think that you have to, to fit into, uh, in, into the system somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, one of the more disturbing claims, I think, is, and uh, which is quite upsetting, actually, the breakdown of William and Harry's relationship. Um, now, in the book, it talks about how William had told uh, Harry to maybe take his foot off the gas a little bit, don't rush into a relationship with, with this girl. And Harry this took, girl being took the indifference uh -huh. to this and called him a snob. And I think that, you know, William, William is going to be king one day. He's going to be the, uh, the, uh, the head of the monarchy. And he was actually protecting his brother. And that shows you the deep, deep divisions within the two brothers and, and how far their relationship has soured. And that the, those divisions were there 
probably before May again. Yeah, it, lo it looks that way. And unfortunately, that uh, you know, there has been a souring of the relationship over some years. I mean, we saw it in the documentary, ITV documentary last year, where Harry said that he'll always love his brother, but there's you know, they were going in different directions. And I think that this book really uh, tells you how isolated Harry felt and how isolated William thought he had made himself mm -hmm. from, you know, not even speaking to some of their it's lifelong so friends. so sad, isn't it, actually? I just think it's a very sad tale to tell. I mean, then, of course, the, the light shines on the relationship between Kate and Meghan. Well, another thing which is very interesting in this book, and it, it, this is sort of part of the, se the sequence of it, is that a lot of the stories that they had been complaining about over the last couple of years have actually been proved correct. The, uh, the uh, courtiers calling her Duchess Difficult, that's admitted that she was having sort of friction within the royal household, but also the relationship with Kate. Now, these two women are two women from very, very different backgrounds. They've got very different roles within in the institution. But um, she accuses Kate of being unfriendly, unwelcoming. Well, the people that I've spoken to have said that that couldn't have been further from the case. They'd invited them over for Christmas. They made uh, real efforts to try and bring her into the family and make, made her feel welcome. So I think it's just uh, it's a it's a lot of mudslinging this this book, and I don't think it will be comfortable reading for the, from anyone in no, the world. No family. one, I'm guessing, really wants it at all. Oh gosh, it? I, mean, I mean, could you imagine? Just... It's airing your dirty laundry in public. We've been here before with Andrew Morton's book about gosh. Diana and all the. Uh, issues that that calls. Now, um, I don't understand why they would have thought it would have been a, a good idea. And mm. you hark back to the, their team saying that uh, they've had no cooperation in this, but that is very, very hard to believe indeed. Really? Um, what, what is the future for the couple now? Living in LA, we believe that Megan's mum is on board helping with the little one. Yes, and yeah. I mean, what, what happens next? Well, I think, you know, if they had moved to Canada and they, they had said, we, um, we don't feel comfortable about where we are, we, we, we want to go and live a you know, quieter life, and they had actually moved to Canada, I don't think anyone could have blamed them at all. They would have been living in the wilderness, bringing up their child, doing their charity work. Mm -hmm. But once you then move to Los Angeles, to the paparazzi capital of the world, arguably, and then you start firing off lawsuits saying that you're being followed by paparazzi who are using drones over your house. Well, where is your position? Yes. And the real issue with this is if they had stayed in the UK, if they had stayed within the institution, they would have had far far more protections. Now they're out on their own. Yeah. They haven't been able to launch their charity. Aren't you really? Yeah, well, they're, you know, they're, what, what is the future for mm -hmm. them now? I do, um, I do actually uh, well, wonder. Ross, well, just very quickly before we go, aside from the book, Prince William launches a new campaign with David Beckham. Yeah, this is, it, this is great. And it, it, you know, potentially back to the role that we should be talking about what the royal family should be doing. William uh, did, did uh, a, a video call with David Beckham, some real big football stars, Carlo and Chilotti, to England stars Tyrone Mings and uh, Andres Tynes and, and their England captain Steph Gilton as well. He's very passionate about it, isn't he? He is, it's yeah. I mean, he's talking, he's, he's talking about uh, yeah, the issues um, with mental health and that's part of uh, what he should be doing. Russell, thank you as always. What a read. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.